Well, our decision to choose SCR is, is primarily related to uh, uh, really the biggest factor is that we are uh, hoping to gain some efficiency, some fuel efficiency in the process, and, and uh, you know, we're, we're skittish about the cost, uh, as we are any time uh, emission changes come in and we've got a higher cost that we need to go out to the marketplace and, and charge higher rates to cover for that. Um, but what we've looked at is the efficiency gains should offset those, uh, uh, those costs in an in operating cycle. In regards to our fuel efficiency gains, it's a little too early to tell what we're actually going to obtain. Our expectations are to get a minimum of a 5% improvement. With the Freightliner M2 and the ISB Cummins, we have experienced zero maintenance issues and when you look at the overall running costs, if you take out the diesel exhaust fluid equation and look at just from a pure maintenance perspective, that vehicle has not cost us a cent more than any other vehicles. One of the surprises of the trip to Europe in talking to the fleets was finding out from them that even though they have to purchase a DEF to add to the engine, there is also a fuel savings and cost savings that has been incurred by the fleets that we encounter. The supplier of EGR is making some pretty big claims about what the MPG of that truck might be. Since we don't know that, it's hard to say, but uh, I know our past experience has been, it's difficult to get really good fuel economy with high usage of EGR. Uh, on the two tractors that we're running with the DD-15, a day cab and a sleeper, um, one of our customers in the sleeper application runs the northeast area and currently, even though the vehicles really haven't had a chance to break in from a mileage standpoint, they're experiencing a 4% better fuel economy. So they're again very pleased. The throttle response on the DD-15 compared to their prior vehicles has been well received by the drivers. They love the performance and uh, they can't say enough good things about it. So they're kind of excited to have the opportunity to drive this vehicle. With this truck, I'm seeing already over eight miles per gallon. We're probably getting about 8.2, 8.3 miles per gallon on an average. You know, I'm seeing at least probably a half a mile per gallon more fuel economy. Our ideal goal would be, since 2002, would be to recover the MPG that we lost with the introduction of EGR and then uh, the DPF. And uh, the way it looks right now, uh, we think we're going to be slightly better than our pre-EGR trucks. In today's economy, fuel is profit. Any opportunity we have to burn less fuel goes right to our bottom line. 